hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel Nat's bookshelf my name's Natalie and today we are going to be doing the end of the year book tag I'm a little late on this I do believe but I thought what the hell we'll go ahead and do it anyways <laughs> Okay, so the first question is, are there any books that you started this year that you need to finish still? And yes, I earlier in the year, I did start Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson and I did enjoy it. I just got caught up in other things and never finished it. So I would like to finish that by the end of the year and also I would like to finish A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Mass I believe is what that one's called. I started that back at the end of August and then I got into September and started doing Bookish Jeopardy and just never finished it so I really need to get that done so that I can read A Court of Silver Flames and finally get that series done. Okay, so question number two is do you have an autumnal book to transition into at the end of the year? And I'm not quite sure on this. I do plan on reading The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern this month. I do believe that this is very much fall winter aesthetic and that it could be a great transition book. I haven't had the best of luck with this book. I tried it on audio and I really didn't care for it so we are going to try it while I'm listening and reading along at the same time and I'm going to try to love it because I hear nothing but great things about it so I want to be in on it. Question number three is, is there a new release that you are still waiting on? And yes, there is. It comes out this month and I cannot wait. I'm not sure of the exact day that it comes out, but A Touch of Chaos by Scarlett St. Clair. This is the fourth installment in the Hades Persephone's series and I cannot wait to see what happens in this book because I am in love with this series. Question number four is what are three books that you want to read by the end of the year and I do have an answer for this. The first one most obviously being one that I've had on my TBR forever and I really want to get it done and that is The Devil in the Dark Water by Stuart Turton. This is the same author that wrote The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. And I was obsessed with that book. It was such a ride. And I'm hoping he pulls that off again in this book. And from the reviews that I have seen of people who liked The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, they do tend to like this as well. Maybe not as much, but it gives me hope. So definitely this one. Also, another one I plan to read this month that I would really like to finish by the end of the year is The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. This is his second appearance on this end of the year book tag. And I really need to get into more Sanderson. Uh, I have only read Elantris, which I did like. It wasn't like a favorite or anything, but I did enjoy it. So this is one of my husband's among various other people's favorite series. So I really, really want to love this. And I really want to finish it by the end of the year, but as you can see, it is a chunker. So hopefully we'll get this done. And the third book that I would really like to finish this year is A Court of Silver and Flames just to get that out of the way before the new books come out in 
the Crescent City series and in the Akatar series. I'm really enjoying this plot and these characters and this story so I can't wait to see how it all ends up coming out. Question number five is, is there a book that could still shock you and become your favorite of the year? This is difficult. I really don't know when I'm going to absolutely love a book and when I'm not. Uh, it's very hit or miss. I would love this to be one of my favorites just so I can be in the in crowd and love me the, some way of the kings. I'm not sure what else I plan on reading but yeah it could go anyway. Sometimes I love books, sometimes I don't. It really just depends on my mood at the time. Also, A Touch of Chaos by Scarlett St. Clair could definitely be a favorite. Uh, that whole series is going to be in my favorites at the end of the year. I'm almost positive. But yeah, we'll just have to wait and see how this all time pans out. And last but not least is question six. And that is, have you already started making reading plans for 2023? And sort of. I have been trying to plan my videos way ahead of time. So like I've got this month and next month completely planned out. And I am starting on January right now. So I have an idea, but it's not like in the know. I I can't think of any books off the top of my head that I must read next year. So, but yeah, long story short, I guess I kind of have started planning my reading for 2023. Okay guys, that was my end of the year book tag. I'm not sure that I've ever actually done this tag before. I know I've done an end of the year survey, which I plan on doing in December, but I don't think I've ever actually done this tag before, so I there's first time for everything. But if you enjoyed watching this, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe so you get all the awesome content of this lovely face, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs> Thank you.